Right, this is my first attempt at a solar tracker. Okay, uh, I'll try and show you what most of it. I'll have to use my low grade Arcos because it's a lot better and more user friendly. This is the mount I had made by a friend of mine. As you can see, get closer to it. It's got some bloody big bolts in it and it's steel. The actual the construction of it is, uh, if you look at it, it's a, basically a big frame, aluminium box section, segmented into four segments for four panels. Uh, the, on that I've actually put a plate welded, which is about 12 mil aluminium. On the other side of that, bolted to it is a, is a piece of steel, about 10 mil thick. Bolts, which are probably about, I don't know, 10 mil, 14 mil, something like that. Can't remember what mate gave me. And he's actually done the inside of it, the, the, the bit on the middle. He's used steel, which is about sort of one inch steel. Big holes, welded plate on top. And used uh, two bits of right angle steel, because he couldn't find the right size box section. He's a steel merchant. And he welded them up and welded them on for me. Uh, this is basically the unit. Uh, just a minute. Here's a front section of it, so you can see what it looks like. This is uh, what I would call a serious solar tracker. Uh, as from the 6th of April, solar panels are now permitted development in this country, the United Kingdom. It's not widely known, and there doesn't seem to be much information about it. But if you want to find some information, go to www. Uh, micropar.co.uk and have a read on the main page and that will show you the document it's on the main home page uh, hopefully I'll have some panels on this shortly I've got two in the gar in the garage I've got one Kyocera and one made in Slovenia which I tried I've decided that it's actually not as good as the Kyocera and power output so I'm gonna aim to get four Kyocera 130 watts or 125 watts which will give me the best part of 500 watts which I can get from it. Uh, this is an update video to keep you sort of in the picture for all the people who are subscribed to it. Just in case you're mildly interested, the wind turbine is not up yet. Due to the laws not changing in this country uh, at the moment, they've been omitted from the new changes in the law. Uh, the information about them, what I understand, is they're going through Parliament and they're going through the European Parliament on things like noise levels and stuff like that uh, the general sort of uh, Spec is so far 10 meters ground based 2 meters blade Might be a noise limit on it later on about 45 to 50 DB, which is not that too hard to attain uh, It does it does actually exclude certain big ones obviously and at the present I believe the law states also 12 metres from a boundary, which does eliminate about 90% of the population. So that's a bit of a problem, that one. But we'll see what we do on that one. As you can see from this garden, not very much chance of actually doing 12 metres from a boundary. Actually, no hope. <laughs> anyway, I'll keep you updated when I actually find out what happens. I'm keeping watch on the internet and I'll let you know. Once this uh, solar tracker has actually been rigidified I will call that that's a good word me own word uh, it will be very very stable I'm gonna actually stabilize the bottom end of it uh, I'll probably guy wire it probably because I got some guys on the ground I can make that really tight I may even put some little some bits on the bottom of it just to give it a, like a triangle out of, out of a box section sort of not box section out of uh, scaffolding poles because I got plenty of them laying about uh, I was going to go for steel on the main pole, but the aluminium one seemed to be fine. That's not actually going to be that high. I don't need it that high, so that's basically going to sort of be all right. Uh, the base, obviously, I just concreted down to about sort of one meter, so it should be pretty tight. Uh, that's the old box way the wind turbine going into, and that's basically the whole design. There we are. I'll keep in. I'll keep you informed as I go along. Alright, bye bye.